Hi guys, so I've missed the first um, first board of this match. It looks like a Welsh Cup match. Um, so we've got some decent players on this table, or both tables. Okay, so one club, 16 plus, so it's a strong club system. Uh, one diamond probably says less than seven, yeah. One heart, could be a canopy. A canopy is where you, um, possibly bid your shortest suit first. Uh, so in this case, it, it wasn't a canopy. Okay, so it's like a, a that's a French system, the canopy system. Okay, so how did the bidding go on this table? So it's natural, just open one heart. And this hand bid a spade. I was getting confused so far. Well, why is it bidding a spade with only three spades? But of course, they've already played a card to the trick. So, one heart, one spade, two diamonds, and then this has just passed it out. So, if it's a change of suit, shows it can be like a strong hand. This is very weak. And so, you can pass two diamonds out. So, how's it going here? Diamond to heart, so club, diamond, heart, one spade, four to seven points, forcing, not to four spades. Okay, so a little bit of a more complicated system here we're playing. Two hearts. Now, I wonder if they've got any kind of bid. I was going to say, have they got any kind of bid to find the four, four diamond fit? So you're going to lose a club, a heart, and a spade or two. So here you probably should take some spade finesse. At this point while you're over there, set up your second suit, I'm thinking. Okay, so two diamonds is pretty easy because you're in a, four, a nice 4-4 four, four fit and the diamonds broke 3-3. Three, three. Wow, it's gone straight over the ace. Uh, I suppose you're only in two hearts. That's the point of the hand here. He's just deciding he's going to make the contract. So he's got two tricks. So he can rough this one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and make nine tricks. Get 140, and, and that'll be 110. So 130, 140 versus 130. So it teams, that is a zero sum result. Okay, so 10, in, 10 points difference is, is nothing in, in terms of imps. Okay, so South has passed. One club, which is natural. And one no trump overcall showing like 16 points kind of thing. And everyone's just decided to pass it. Okay. So Julian Pottage, sorry if it Pottage or Pottage. <laughs> Pottage is a posh way of saying it.
Gary Jones is a well-known player. It's Barry the Fish. <laughs> Okay, now I can just climb. Well, I'm guessing he's lost track of the hearts. <laughs> Should have really been looking at this left hand because the right hand was using easy nine tricks. So now will they open a diamond or something like that? Because they're playing a strong club system, so they can't open one club with only a 15 count. Okay. Five, 15 to 17 balance, five card major okay if 15 high card points. Oh, that's interesting. So me personally, I'd open with a five card major if I had a 17 count, but I, I kind of get the idea why you might not do that. Because game is more likely when you've got a 17 count and a five card major. Okay, so Queen of Spades lead isn't the best lead because now that sets up the ten of spades. So you're going to get three spade tricks. You've got to get a heart trick is four. And two diamonds is six. So you've got to figure out another another trick from somewhere. Which is likely to be in clubs or hearts. So basically, you can kind of give up some tricks here to try to set up the 13 hearts or the 13 club. Another thing to do is obviously play towards the king, queen of hearts twice and hope the ace of hearts is in the south hand, which it isn't. So this had to go straight up with the ace. The queen should really promise the jack. So, okay, he's just basically going straight for the ten of spades straight away. Let's set that ten of spades up. And I'll play another spade straight away, yeah. Nine of diamonds. Maybe they're playing high encouraging. The, tr the trouble with doing that is you're throwing one of your diamonds. So yeah, this hand should really kind of, yeah, just, just play. It doesn't matter what you play, really. Ten or king, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this hand might well play low here, but might well play the two of diamonds here. Gone in with the queen, gone for it. Okay, so that's going to win. And now you're going to play a heart. There's no rush. Okay, he's playing the spade first. And. So that heart is, they're, they're playing natural discards, I think. So this, that heart discard is not very good for this hand. 
But I think what they'll do is try to set up, because a heart's been pitched, there's a chance um, that the hearts are going to be breaking 3-3. Three, three. And as it, oh, I was going to say, uh, as it turns out on the 9-10 break, <coughs> come down. It, So this hand should duck it now. Yeah, that's the trouble. He can't do that. Yeah, that's why he didn't really duck it before with the Queen of Diamonds because he couldn't afford to. He couldn't afford to duck it before. So now we we'll play another heart. This is the thing about playing the suit that you want to kind of keep. Why has he done that? That's very interesting. Yeah, okay. I think the defense can can sort this out anyway, I think possibly. Okay. Okay, I'm not watching what's going on here. What's happened? Oh wow, three hearts. Three, four, five, eight of them. So sometimes you'll bid three hearts rather than four hearts, I guess, when your hearts aren't that good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, there's a case for opening this four hearts, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's see if they open it four hearts. It's going to be interesting. Oh, well, of course, it's got to be a diamond bit first. Yeah, it's just effectively opening it four hearts. One diamond, four hearts. <coughs> hmm. Will you bid five diamonds? I think. It's a good case for it, I think. So you can only use two diamonds and the ace of clubs. And what are you going to do in hearts? You're going to lose a two spades and a heart. So four hearts is going to make. So five diamonds is a good sacrifice. I mean, at this point, you don't really know whether you're sacrificing or not, to be honest with you. Two places to play, yeah, I like that bit. So that's usually um, the miners. Double, okay. I think this hand's going to bid five diamonds. So the two places to play actually has to be the miners in this case. Okay, and that's, that's the contracts. Unless this hand bids five hearts, which I can't see it doing. Got very good hearts, so. Oh, he has bid five hearts. Sorry, he has done it. Five hearts. Yeah, they needed the spade. Well, they need a spade lead. <laughs> hmm. OK. 
Can he come up with a spade lead? Hmm. Very interesting hand. Oh, we've got another interesting hand there. So a diamond, we're getting some really good hands here now. A diamond, a spade over Carl. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so some people have been taught to double with like, if you've got 15 or more points, which is a stupid thing to do, okay? With this kind of, it's not a special suit or anything. You just got to bid one spade. You can't double, okay? And then this hand's just, it's got a lot of trash, but it's got lots of spades and shapes. So it's just going to go to four spades. <sighs> Penalty orientated after partners double. Okay, so I don't think you're going to go to six diamonds. Um, are you going to bid? Okay, he, he didn't decide to double five hearts. Is he just going to routinely lead out a diamond? Or can he find that spade lead? Oh, and he's like the queen of clubs instead. <laughs> So ace of clubs, ditches you lose in spade. And now this hand's just going to then play diamond to the ace, rough a diamond, rough. Because basically what you want to do is make sure you can rough two, two hearts. Unfortunately, very difficult to lead a spade. So it's going to be a flat board. So this hand will play a club and rough it with a six and then play another diamond. I think that's a bit sloppy. I mean, it's, I mean, why would it? <laughs> it doesn't really matter, I guess, but really, I don't know. You know there's the ace and five out, surely. If somehow that was out of clubs, I just think it's just really sloppy. I've done it again. It's just really, <laughs> why are you doing that? Okay, he's trying to sneak a trip through now. That ain't going to work. I mean, there, were, there is an inference there to lead a spade on that last hand. You know, the double of the four no trumps in, implying that they've got clubs and willing to double it. So North had diamonds, South probably had clubs. And, and, and that was the inference from maybe leading a spade in, in that last hand. Okay. So this is like a Lucas two bid. Does it actually show at least five for spades and 
min. Don't actually say what the other suit is, so it can be a yeah. It's basically any other suit. So two spades double take out. Oh, I think this hand is going to just bid four spades. Yeah, can't see anything else happening here. Okay, so he's got the guess. <laughs> it's basically, uh, has this hand bid anything? Opened a diamond, so. You got an inference there that there might be some, yeah. So he's, he's basically worked out the ace of clubs is there because of the opening bid. Seen North come up with ace of spades and jack of spades and stuff. Okay, so another high card, encouraging in diamonds. So natural discards. So again, this south hand's doubled. So I think you're gonna you're gonna work out where the ace of clubs is. What the hell did you come back to this? Hmm. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. That's going to be two aces. You should get it right. One diamond, one heart, pass. Two hearts, pretty nondescript hand, really. It's just a, a flat eight count and three card support. And South keeps bidding to show the shape. Uh, non vulnerable against vulnerable. A good reason to bid three clubs is because you kind of want a club lead as well. Wow, this hand's doing a lot of bidding on its own. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they got the, the, the club right as well. Four diamonds. So two hearts, club is three, a diamond is four, so it's probably one off. So four diamonds is a good bid, versus three hearts is probably making. So you're gonna lose a diamond. Well, actually it's not, is it a diamond? Two clubs is three, a heart is four, and a spade. So actually three hearts is one off, so four diamonds is not a good bid on this occasion. Okay, one diamond, one heart, one spade. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a grotty hand, isn't it? And East decided not to bid two hearts. Interesting. One diamond, one heart, one spade, and East didn't bid. Wow, they bought it in two diamonds. That's pretty cheap. Well, I think they... It's interesting now that one, one table's pushed up the bidding quite a lot and the others have let it die out pretty quick. This hand has just decided not to... Um, Bid. One diamond, one heart, one spade. I quite like the idea of pass first time, but then over two diamonds. I think East should bid two hearts, really. And it's not a bad hand. Eight points and a three card heart support. Yeah, I think that's a bit timid, that, if I'm honest. I haven't really watched how they played this out. Hmm. Interesting. It's like there's abandoned playing out the diamonds. Now it's going to play another club. <laughs> okay, so it's basically only 50s. Now, will this chuck away the... Okay. Don't think he would. <laughs> See if he can chuck away the ace of spades or something, and then this hand rough, and then this hand first spade, or something like that. Not going to make any difference. going to be two off. Okay, two diamonds. So there, they've gone two off. So they only made five. So if they, if they, if they, this hand a bid two hearts, it'll possibly push them to three diamonds, and maybe they go off. Who knows? Okay, roughing the heart. This might actually be better on this side because okay, decide to ditch. Oh, it's a winner. Sorry, the Jack of Hearts was a winner. I forgot about that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And now he's got rid of his losing club. Now he's gonna be roughing his club. It looks like this uh two downs might end up making ten tricks at this rate. So probably rough with a six and then play a diamond. Why is rough with it? Why is he rough with a ten? 
that just makes life so much easier. Well, a little bit easier, I guess. Doesn't make a lot of difference. And now you're making 10 tricks. <laughs> so you could have actually made 10 tricks. It's just a spade lead created a kind of force. Okay, so North has 12, weak to intermediate, third vulnerable. Okay, so this is like a third in hand where you, you have your third in hand a little bit stronger than normal. Double, because you've got four, 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 one. Two no trumps, max points with down. So it's an inquiry bid. Three hearts, max with points outside of diamonds. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there you go, they made 10 tricks. So interesting how uh, one was in four and went off and the other one was in two and made two over tricks. It's always the way, always the way. So pass, pass. So will they open one diamond or something else? Okay, one no trump, okay. So it's a bent one no trumps, six card diamond suit and just decided to open it. One no trump. This hand will probably transfer to hearts and then have done with it. So, again, a different contract. Okay, so what's this hand going to lead? Okay, that is Singleton. Standard lead. <laughs> you may as well go in with the king, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, so that's the diamond suit set up. Ducking it, look, hearts are very favorable. Oh, that was good, let's try that again, see if it works. Gonna have to cover this time. Okay, so ace of hearts. Chuck away your club. Oh, you gotta chuck away the club first. Never use the ornament. Right, so this time, sometimes you don't get rid of the last heart, but here is getting rid of the last heart so you can play all those winning diamonds. Okay. I, I see what he's doing there. He's going to get rid, hopefully get rid of the clubs, and that's why he's not thrown away this. This hand will now probably play a spade. He'll probably play the ace of spades now. He's seen these spades go. He's now going to cash the ace of spades, I, I suspect. Okay, so one no trump. Remember this hand's bit. This hand doesn't know that this hand's got six diamonds in its hand. No, I switched to a club. That's interesting. So obviously this is some sort of signal there that I didn't see. Okay. Okay. 
that doesn't make sense. Not sure why that hand played a diamond then. I mean, you know there's no hearts out. Why are you playing a diamond? It's played the eight of diamonds. It's, it's like... So just conceding one more. Well, this hand did well to switch. They could have got an, two more tricks. Over table, so 170. So they're not going to beat that 170. So getting in the major, finding the major, as um, will, will equate to some imps. Okay, so 7, 10, 14. So obviously they're not playing a weak, no trump. One diamond, yeah, less than 16. They're playing a strong club, obviously. One club, one diamond, I mean. One spade over call. Okay, so this is like an aggressive kind of bid, trying to stop the one heart bid. So, so I guess there's going to be some sort of double or something. Double to show hearts. This is a really nice hand opposite a heart, so this is not going to bid anything. Um, will this hand bid three hearts? I know it's only a 14 count, but it's ace, king, ace, king. And it's got some shape to it as well. It's got the ace of spades in that, that suit. So the chances that pile has got shortage. Might well bid three hearts. Just an idea. Yeah, he's bid three hearts. Okay, so that's that's good. So this is where you kind of upgrade your hand. It's better than just two hearts. A lot of people just bid two hearts with this hand and because you've just got less than 15 points, but it's a good 14. Okay, so upgrade it. Probably go off now that I've said that. <laughs> okay, so you got no diamond losers, you've got a club to lose, you got no hearts to lose. So, and it looks like you've got two spades to lose, maybe, and only one spade to lose if they lead the king of spades. So, what are you going to lead here? Are you going to lead the king of spades? Nope, wolf highest club. Okay, so when you've led the fourth highest club, it's unlike, but you're going to lead from the ace of clubs. So, this is kind of given the, the situation here. So, this is this looks like an obvious thing to do to now just play the six of clubs. Okay, so it's highly unlikely you're gonna be leading away from the ace of clubs. So that that lead has kind of taken any guesses away about the club suit really. <sighs> One heart, yeah, and this hand didn't do anything. Uh, two no trumps, game force, it's like a jack of your two no trump bird, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve. Yeah, it's a. It's not a great twelve. It's not a ha good hand though. Twelve count really. Three spades. So what do they play here? So they just play natural here. Okay. Got to the game anyway. So he hasn't played a card yet. Now we all know he's going to play the six of clubs. Okay, but he's just kind of planning the best way to, to, to sort this out. The thing is, he knows it is because it's the spade over card, he knows the king, queen of spades is most likely to be over here. Okay. And also he thinks there's a five card spade suit there as well. So he's got one club and two spades to lose, and he's got to try and pick up the hearts for no losers. So he's going to play the king of hearts and then take a heart finesse. But as it turns out, the heart just pops up. So 
So it's the easy center axis. Okay. That's. So there's 10, 9 here. So the thing is, if there was 10, 9 here, okay. So he's trying to make it look as if there's a 4, 1 break. Okay, I'm trying to get him to maybe take a heart finesse. Okay, and then this hand will win with a ten of hearts. But then he's played the jack of hearts and seen that he's just uh, messing about. <laughs> so we play a heart to the king and probably play a spade towards the jack. And it's going to be all over. Now, uh, what was that on this hand? No, so don't think a club was led. Was a diamond led? So here they've got to do some work. They've got to guess the. Looks like they've got to guess the clubs right on this table. So this 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 side's been a lot easier to play. Okay, so they just took the club finesse again. Okay, so it's just an eight board match. So he's gonna play a spade probably from here. And this is an interesting card, the Eight of Clubs. What the hell does that mean? Maybe they're asking what it means. Let's have a look at the history on it. Okay, so I missed the first board. See, six imps, say, eh, just on a part score. Interesting. Okay. So rather than play a small spade, so your options are playing a high spade, the jack, let it run. I'll play a spade to the 10. Okay, so they're just, they're not trying to give him anything here. His hand will probably go in the queen and they'll take another, play another spade. Um, they'll put in the 10 this time. So that's quite good with the nine and eight popping up. That helped a lot. So I'm sure they'll put in the 10 here. Should just play a spade here. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter because he's still on a guess. He might decide to play a low club. No. Nope. Now, is there any significance of not playing a club there? That's the question.
So that's in fact uh, a diamond. And yeah, you might as well play the ace of spades and chuck away a club. But then it still comes down to this situation here. Complete. Is it a complete guess? How did the bidding go? One heart pass. So West has opened the bidding with one heart. This hand has come up with king, queen of spades. This hand has come up with not a lot. King, queen of spades. One heart. So the thing is, if this hand had king, queen of spades, which it did, if it had the ace of clubs, there's more, there's more of a chance it might have doubled or something if it had the ace of clubs. Uh, what else has it come up with? Um, the Queen of Hearts, yeah. So there's a there's a well, if it's got Ace Queen of Clubs, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so he's just trying to work it out. So he's got let's got King Queen of King Queen of Spades, the Queen of Hearts. Now, if you had the Ace of Clubs, there's a very remote chance it might well have doubled. So therefore, there's a less chance it holding the Ace of Clubs. So that's why he's putting the jack rather than putting in the king. Okay, so he got he's got it right. <laughs> Must admit, you are excellent at king king jack plays, Paul. <laughs> Good. Okay, so going to end it there.